Hello and welcome to our reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pokemon Collection Dragonite Model Kit. So you can uh, see my video of me putting this model kit together if you wish. I'll put a nice friendly link around here somewhere. And uh, you can go watch that if you're curious about exactly how they're put together. But this is a review of the models once they've already been put together. Now this comes with Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Dragonite is the only one that I did uh, pretty much exactly the way it's supposed to be. It looks pretty much spot on. This model kit contains a lot of stickers, and I don't like them, and they don't like me, but we had to work together. And, um, yeah, Dragonite's the main reason to get this. Um, these are somewhat small, and uh, Dragonite is actually a bit articulated. The other ones are not. And let's just go ahead and take a look at the uh, models and all that sort of stuff. All right, here we have everyone. Uh, we have Dratini and Dragonite and Dragonite. They're not really in scale with one another. Um, I'm pretty sure Dratini should be smaller, and Dragonair should actually be a few feet longer than uh, Dragonite is, and I'm pretty sure if this was stretched out, he still wouldn't be the right length comparatively. But they're reasonably in scale, just not exactly. Um, if you want to take a look a bit closer here, you can see lots of faults from me making them. But if you put the stickers on there perfectly, they would look pretty decent. Um, I didn't do quite as bad with Dragonair, but he does still have some faults. Now, I did Dragonite pretty well. He doesn't really have any issues. One of his wing stickers was a little bit off, but for the most part, he looks about the way he's supposed to. Um, he has some stickers inside of his mouth as well. And, uh... He came out pretty well, and since he is the main focus of the set, he is what I was most concerned about. Uh, Dratini here comes with a little base, I guess because he can't really stand up all that well. Uh, Dragonair sits pretty flat, very easily, and of course Dragonite can stand up if you have him positioned correctly. Uh, his tail will lean backwards and make him fall over. Let's take a look at his articulation, as he's the only one that has some. His tail, hinge back and forth. Wings do the same thing. Um, his mouth is hinged, but it really only opens if you raise his arms up. They're kind of connected, and since I put it together, I know that there's like a little inside bit that connects the arm pivots to the inside of the head up here and makes his mouth go up and down, and the arms can also go in and out. And the legs here are also on similar joints going in and out. So he's a fairly acceptably articulated little model thing, and he'll probably do until we get a D-Arch Dragonite. Maybe we'll get a D-Arch Dragonite. Seems reasonable. It's one of the most popular Pokemon from the first generations, after all. That is uh, really pretty much the extent of these guys. Um, there's not a whole lot of fine detail. Um, pretty much everything that is detail is stickers, and they don't necessarily look that good the way I put them on, with the exception of Dragonite. So, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of the models themselves. Let's take a look at the box really quick. All right, this is, of course, not a display box. It's just a model box, but it, here it displays the, uh, the models exactly the way they're supposed to look. And as you can see, Dragonite looks about like mine, and these look like much cleanerly done versions of mine. Also, it's covered with Japanese writing. I cannot read and has a little Bandai logo down there at the bottom. has uh, other series of models here on the side and a bit of a depiction of how Dragonite moves and then it's just a plain gray back because it's just a lifting top off kind of box and that's pretty much the extent of it just to give you a good look of exactly what they're supposed to look like to account for my errors in making them this is also number 30 in a range of however many they intend to make as these are new and they're continuing to make them so yeah Certainly not good for any sort of in-package display, but yeah, Dragonite. All right, that's what I've set up for our model kit, so until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those sorts of things if you enjoyed my video. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.